Apparently, I was so busy <laughs> focusing on posing for the thumbnail of this video that I forgot to record the intro. Sorry. I'm so sorry about it. Unsubscribe. Leave a dislike. Leave a hate comment. It's okay. I deserve it. If you don't know what this video is about, it's just going to be basically me breaking down Katy Perry's new music video for her song, Chain to the Rhythm. So I hope you enjoy it. Quick time. I need to record my screen. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Eh, eh, let's do it. Let's let do it. Let's do it. Eh, eh, I eh, eh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. When you're riding bikes in the sky, beach hopping, the bar hopping, pool hopping. Bitch, I don't want no ads. Bitch, I don't want no ads. Bitch, I don't need them ads. Bitch, I don't want them ads. Bitch, I don't need them ads. That face you make when you realize ads are how you pay your bills. Okay, the first thing that we see is that this theme park is called Oblivia. Oblivious, meaning not aware of or not concerned about what is happening around oneself. That means that these people that are coming into this park, they are not woke, they are not looking at their surroundings, that already gives the hint. Okay, we see them on their phones, like they are living through their phones, which is like what we do in society nowadays, and we already know. Obviously, that's something that we do. Honey, I'm talking to you right now. You're watching me through a phone right now. Like, I mean, that says something within itself. Honestly, I think social media is great, but it can be used for both good and bad. And you can't let yourself get so wrapped up in it where you can't live a normal life. So that's a satire on people that do get so wrapped up in technology that they live a second life through it. She's smelling the roses. And then she pricks her finger on a thorn. That's not even a real thorn. That's like metal or something that she's like pricking on. It was like artificial. And that's like supposed to be a reality check for this character. I don't know why I said reality check. I meant foreshadowing. Which at the end of the video, this character has a realization. This is one hint to the character that something is going wrong. At the end of the video, they come to the realization that there is a lot going wrong. There's going to be a whole bunch of more hints as the video progresses. So let's... Let's get into it. I don't want to be annoying and keep pausing, but like, there's so much in this video. Like, I love this music video so much. Okay, this is really important. So as we see the blue heart and the pink heart, this has everything to do with heterosexual couples. Look at them. They're in there. It's a boy and it's a girl. And there's an instance where they all stare at each other. The boy and the girl stare at each other. You don't see any same-sex couples at all. Listen to the lyrics of the song. The entire song is produced how any other pop song would be produced. The only difference is that there is an underlying message. So when people listen to the song, they dance to it. That's like a part of the problem. That's a part of like what she's trying to make a statement on. That people distract themselves with so much that they don't actually see the problems. They're oblivious. Saying dance, dance, dance to the distortion. Turn it up, put it on repeat. Stumbling around like a wasted zombie. Like that's not something good, but you know, you, people are dancing to it, nodding their heads, not even realizing like the message of the song. And like that's kind of her point. And that's what makes it so fucking brilliant. As we see, Rose gets 17 likes. The name of the ride is Love Me Validation Station. She gets 17 likes and he gets 9,478 for doing the same exact thing that she's doing. That's making such a statement on double standards of our society. That's saying how women put just as much effort and they do the same thing that men do, only they do not receive as much either approval or even like if you really want to get into it, payment. And they don't make as much money as men do for doing the same exact fucking job. And I'm getting passionate right now because like, guys, you don't understand, like this kind of stuff is stuff that I'm really passionate about anyway, but just in general, the way that she used that is so cool. Also, if you look in the background, you can still see the blue heart, like in the pink heart. I love how she's tying two themes into like one ride. I think that's so fucking cool. Okay. Obviously this man jumping is just showing that he is very oblivious to what's going on. Doesn't even realize that he's in danger. Just jumping like that, honey. Same thing with that couple. The couple just got thrown off. Like, they don't care because these people don't realize what's going on. And, and that's like what it's supposed to represent in our society, that there's so many issues happening and people don't even see them. Like, they're jumping into things so blindly and also very, um, I don't want to say dumb, because I mean, 
That's like not nice, but you know what I mean. Like, just, they, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Bombs away represents nuclear war. Okay, this wheel thing. This wheel thing is like one of the most important things in this entire video, and also one of the coolest concepts. If you actually watch the lyric video with the hamster, she kind of tied that hamster wheel into this video, which I think is so cool. But it's supposed to represent how history repeats itself and how these people are living their lives in a wheel. Like, it goes on and on and on, like she says towards the end of the song in her lyrics. Like, nothing is going to change if people are not opening their eyes or waking up. But it is. It's history repeating itself and people not even trying to wake themselves up to realize that it is. Infernal H2O. This is something that I always thought was interesting too, like how you have companies that sell products and like you're willing to try anything, even the dumbest shit, the things that you know aren't going to change anything in your life and probably won't work and even the things that aren't necessarily good for you but people will try it just because the media feeds it to them. People will believe anything that they hear, anything that they read. We're very mindless and brainwashed. The new product, Inferno H2O, like obviously like why the fuck would you want to drink Inferno H2O but you know, people still will. If this was a thing now, I'm telling you right now, if Inferno H2O was a thing and this was being advertised people would still buy this shit because that's literally how our society is right now. I also wanted to point out the lyric, drink this one's on me. That's also talking about how people use distractions to try to make their lives better, to try to escape their problems. Instead of just facing our problems head on, we like to try to escape our problems and hide from our problems by using things to distract us, whether that's like music, like you know, music videos, media, like whatever it is. And it's okay to do that, but you can't do it forever. There has to come a point where you stand up. Also, if you look at that, you can see how like the minorities like are the ones that stumbled, like the African-American man, the Asian woman, they were the ones that were stumbling on the wheel like as history was repeating itself. So that shows that like, not necessarily that they opened their eyes, but it shows that like they understand the problems a lot more because I feel like they can't escape their problems as easily as other people can escape theirs because they're not as privileged. They have to deal with depression that they're faced daily and it's something that they just can't escape. <laughs> As you see, everybody else is like living their life spinning around, but we can see that this character is kind of finding a little bit of a sense of herself. And she's looking at it and she just has a different perspective. Like she's trying to escape it just like everyone else is, but I think she is realizing that she can't. And everybody else is going around and like they're doing that and she isn't. She's the only one that's just in the middle, just like trying to keep up. It goes on and on and on and on and on. It's a circle, it's like a cycle, it repeats itself. As we see, she's running on the wheel. She's running on the wheel as we see, but she stops. And then she wakes up. I think the whole meaning behind the song is just that like we're using all these things to distract ourselves from the problems. We're not seeing what's going on in our country, not even just our country, in our world because we're living in our own privilege. Like we're living in our own privilege, we're living in our own bubble and that's what's stopping us from seeing reality. That's what's stopping us from fixing the problems because we're so comfortable where we are. For instance, I've always wanted to talk about this in a video, so I might as well just like say it. Now, the entire Muslim ban that Donald Trump did, that is just another thing. There are people that are living in war and dying, but we live in the US. So it's easy for us to say, oh, that doesn't matter because we're not being affected by it. But you could have been born in any other country and we were lucky and blessed enough to be born in this country. But because we're so privileged and our lives are okay, we don't get ourselves involved with that. We stay over here where everything is good, which is another song by Lord, which I'm obsessed with called Buzz Cut Season, where she even uses the lyrics like, we live beside the pool where everything is good. Because that's 
what we do. A lot of people in this country don't care because it doesn't affect them. Even with the music video, how you look at the minorities and stuff, how it's harder for them to escape. They are faced somewhat oppression, so they understand it a lot more than people who aren't faced with oppression. Do you understand where I'm trying to come from? And it's just like, until we can come as a society and as a world where we can be compassionate towards another, where we can stop distracting ourselves and start actually facing the problems and actually making an effort to do it, nothing's ever going to change. Not a lot of people are brave enough to say something like how she did and to use that music video and to use music, which is being used to distract people, but use it for something powerful. So thank you so much again for watching this video. I know it was all over the place. You guys are probably like, Colin, this is not what your usual videos are like. Like, get your stuff together. I want to do something different because it's important to me and I've been thinking about this all day and I'm really passionate about stuff like this. I love music and I just, I'm really passionate about, you know, speaking up for important issues too. So, two things that I'm really passionate about in one, like, I had to make a video about it, guys. So thanks so much again for watching. And I'm going to see you, actually, I'm going to see you on Friday with a new video. But you're also going to get a video on Saturday because I want to give you three videos this week. If you want, you can click this circle to subscribe to my channel. Also, click that bell so that you can get a notification every time that I post a video. You can click this box if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks so much again for watching. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!